how to spot a bootleg. flat out honest right now I'm not going to accept I will delete comments um, that say but I need bootlegs because I need Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon hasn't been released in years tough luck so here are some examples of bootlegs that you should stay away from if it is from Japan it will not play in your DVD player it will not play in an American DVD player America is in region one Japan is in region two now it's a little sketchy when it comes to England anime viewers because England is also in region 2 so they could get a region 2 DVD and have it play in their DVD players but America is in a different region so if you want to watch a legitimate Japanese DVD you'll have to get either a regionless DVD player or a region 2 DVD player and those are actually really cheap on Amazon regionless DVD players are really cheap I've been looking because I want to get Hiyakudashi no Nakukoro ni Kai uh, which has not been licensed by an American company yet. Your other clue is that the cover art is weird. This is the first movie of Inuyasha in Japanese. And um, as you can see, Sashomaru is on the cover. And Sashomaru really has nothing to do with this movie. Sashomaru is on the cover of the first movie, legitimate release. However, he's not the center of attention. He's up in the corner looking away from everything going why am I on this cover I have nothing to do with this movie it's all about my little brother and Kagome and their love for each other I want to kill him so having him to be the main focus of this DVD cover art really makes no sense the other fact that this cover art is a little weird is that the art itself looks like the series not the movies the series and the movies were both from different companies and so the animation is different so why do they look like the series this one is just I like laughing at this one I was gonna give this one to Greg because it's just such a bad bad bootleg bad bootleg um, first of all when you open it yeah um, these are stickers they're not professional DVD labels they're stickers I, I've even like I was able to pull one off of one of them I destroyed most of them and threw them away but um, yeah they're stickers and this sleeve is actually printed off paper printing paper regular printing paper that you can buy at Walmart need I say more here's my now and then here and there bootleg uh, the very first clue that this is a bootleg is that it opens like this now there are some exceptions but most anime box sets do not open up like this Inuyasha season box sets do and like I said there are a couple of other exceptions um, but for the most part they do not open like this they normally open stack or infant pack so yeah the very fact that it opens like this generally denotes that it's a bootleg the other uh, clue is that this is also in all region it says three disc all coded version meaning that this could play on any DVD player in the world which generally denotes it's a bootleg though the first legitimate uh, three different DVDs I believe Kamikaze you should look at yours really quick and tell me if this is the case because I think I might have found bootlegs at Yomakam but I'm not sure look on there and see if it's all region if it's all region then then that's, that would be the case, because I did hear from one of the vendors at Yamakan that there were some older DVDs that were released all region. So not all all region DVDs are bootlegs, but for the most part they are, just stay away from them. Which is why I bought the box set instead of the three separate DVDs, which would have been cheaper, would have been $15 versus a 30. But I spent the 30 because I wanted to make sure that it was legit. The other clue is that Central Park Media's name does not appear anywhere on, the, on this thing anywhere. Nowhere on here does it say Central Park Media. Um, the only thing that it ever pays a tribute to is some anime under slash Mac at yahoo.com. All right reserved by Japan, another DVD incorporated, Asia authorized produced by Manga Animation Cartoon DVD. Central Park Media was the only licensor to license this in America until Central Park Media went under and then 
ADV redistributed it under license under their name and under Center Park Media. The other clue that this is a bootleg is the fact that FX has a logo on here. FX is a well-known bootleg company. And so if you see anything with the with this logo right here, right there, that means it's a bootleg. So this is most definitely a bootleg, which really depressed me because this is one of my favorites and um, it killed me that I couldn't watch anymore because I can't stomach watching bootlegs. So I don't watch any bootlegs. But luckily I was able to purchase it legitimately at Yomacon in 2009. So I now can watch this however many times I want to without throwing out. Oh yeah, the other clue that this is a bootleg is the very fact that when I first got it, it came in a slip cover. Slip covers, they are bootlegs. End of story. Nothing is ever released in a slipcover. Um, one other clue that I've got, I don't have any examples to show because I don't have any of those, but if if they come in a box set and they don't have the same number of DVDs that the, that the legitimate release has, like for example, Trigun. Trigun is only ever released in eight DVDs. Yes, Trigun's only 26 episodes long, but it was released in eight DVDs by Genion and Pioneer. That's it. Um, my best friend has a Trigun box set that came in three DVDs. And that is definitely a bootleg. Again, there are some exceptions to this because Now and Then Here and There originally came in three DVDs, but ADV decided to release it in two and then have their special features be on the third disc instead. But this is legitimate because I bought this from a very well-respected vendor at Yomacon who got it right from ADV who and uh, ADV has their logo here, ADV has their logo, logo here, and they have Center Park Media's logo here. It is a Region 1, and it says right there, Region 1. Yeah. This is legitimate. Those are some ways that you guys can tell if it is a bootleg, and like I said, I don't want to hear any comments saying, but I need bootlegs because it's not re-released. Well, you know what? Funimation is working really hard to re-release everything that either isn't licensed or was lost in Genion's bankruptcy or ADV's bankruptcy. So just hold tight and hopefully they will be released. And Sailor Moon will definitely be one of those. I will guarantee it. It was popular enough. So just wait for that to happen. See you guys tomorrow.